just finished up here at the Sean Graham Cheltenham Festival preview night and I've been joined as you can see by the couch. Couch, I don't know about you but the national hunt season for me has been a bit of a damp squib so excite us for next week. It's been great, I think that the, the two day meeting at Leopardstown was a massive success, but it was great. I thought the King George might bite winning was great, the Hennessy is a great race, Total Recoil and Whisper. No, I think it's been alright, you know. Well, going into next week then, let's, ha let's hear your nap. Uh, again, I, I think if someone put a gun at me head, I think Apple's Jade again will do another Cavega, I think she'll win four or five, there's nothing against her. Very interesting, David Case, he's been doing this three or four years. Last year he told us you'll kill, he's told us Lorena, again, total lack of depth. As the lad said, we can see her going off maybe four to nine, maybe even two to five, Lorena, with, with doubles in that running on her. There's nothing to take her on, is there? She'll be third favourite for the Supreme. He's two out of two, Willie, in the race already. Uh, they're talking about scrapping the race, but Willie and Rich Richards have tried not to, there's a surprise. Uh, I think I think Sam Crow, as I said before, we want to see champions in this sport. We're all here because we love racing. And from what I've seen so far, he is. He's unbeaten. I just think the last the run last time, everything was against him. And you know, as my old mate Richard Earl said, he didn't just beat him. He, he annihilated him. Absolutely watered the track. You don't see horses quicker like that. I've seen him over two and a half, and so he just jumps. He, he actually, when I watch him, when I watch his action, I think he wants better ground. He's by Germany. You know, who's the same sire as Germany? For him, and he wants better ground. I think we'll see Sam Crow in a bit. Oh, if Sam Crow was mine, I'd run him in the champion. Earned. I think he'd be second favourite in the champion. Boo there will win the champion. Elgin will finish second. Me and Orsi will have it off at eight to one. We haven't done our marbles yet. We ring up the bubbling squeaks, give them a school. In fact, I was actually found in Turkey uh, the Elgin marbles. It was a, a ruse about the grease. They got them back later. Well, have a story. Sam Crow, then you said champion hurdle next year, maybe. Not not a chaser, no. No, no, he's a, he's a champion hurdle. You look at the, uh, the Valley Moor in the past. Isti Brack won it and won the champion hurdle. Three of them. Hardy Eustace won it and come back and won the champion hurdle. You know, it's a good race for, for future champion hurdlers. For he won it, of course, the 2 5. So, yeah, Sam Crow for me is a proper horse. Great. Might bite in the Gold Cup as well. Very keen on him. Well, quirky, no? Very quirky. Who's that? Might bite. He's won his last five races. I wouldn't mind owning someone as quirky as him. They think they sorted it out this year. In the King George, he wasn't tapped with a whip till he jumped the last. I think he's sorted it out this year. Again, he's won five out of five. That ain't quirky for me. Fair enough. Finish off them. Lay of the week. Lay of the week. Uh, I think sizing John. I can't have him. I'm going to land for a place. He just had a terrible preparation. He also don't win the Gold Cup. Having run like that today, I haven't seen him since you know November. I think I like today him for a place, and I think get a bird in the first. I think he's too short as well. Say a, say a prayer for our team Chelsea here for the love of God. Let's hope we beat Barcelona. Fantastic coach, thanks very much. Lovely to see you again. Thank you.